Now let's talk about Super Crash by Daryl Cunningham, which is also known as The Age of Selfishness. Many of the books that I'm discussing in these videos appeal to me because they're so different to the kind of comics that I draw. For example, Frank Miller's Sin City is so different to anything that I could produce myself, and that's why I like it. On the other hand, I really like Daryl Cunningham's comics because they're so close to what I try to achieve with my own work. In a nutshell, this book is about the global financial crisis and the libertarian philosophy that spawned it, which was highly influenced by the writings of Ayn Rand. The, my favorite part of this book is the first section where Daryl presents an 80-page biography of Ayn Rand's life and career. The storytelling technique is mostly chronological, fact-by-fact -fact account of her life. But then, at the end of the section, Daryl makes it so clear that he's chosen her as the subject of his biography because her worldview is so appalling to him. And then he lets loose with a 10-page condemnation of Ayn Rand's philosophy. It's a powerful section. We see Daryl's point-by-point condemnation of her hypocrisy and the inconvenient facts about her lifestyle that she chose not to declare or acknowledge. Throughout this section, the strongly worded sentences are juxtaposed with orange and red illustrations of New York's buildings. I remember the first time I read this section, it really gripped me and I thought it was such a strong conclusion, especially when you compare it to the deliberately dry and restrained storytelling that he'd used up until that point. So what I'm saying is that if you like my comics, if you like my worldview, check out Daryl Cunningham's comics. The book that I'm talking about is called either Super Crash or The Age of Selfishness, depending on which country you live in. It was released with different titles in different countries. But besides this book, get your hand on anything else that you can by British cartoonist Daryl Cunningham. <laughs>